Hello and welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald and today I'm going to show you a design that would be ideal for Mother's Day. Now when you think of Mother's Day you think it needs to be floral, it needs to be practical, it needs to be transportable. So what we've chosen as a container is this lovely little trug basket. So baskets are a little bit old-fashioned but this one is really really nice. It's in good condition, it's a nice quality basket and it is maybe one that you might want to keep. Now there are options with a, a container like this, you could plant them up, but we're going to make a floral arrangement. So what I've done is I've relined it with cellophane, which I've trimmed, and then filled it with floral foam. And the reason I've put the floral foam right round is there's no movement of the, uh, of the cellophane then, it stays to the outer edge. It also means you've got more foam, which means your arrangement might last longer. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in some greenery first. Now, the one thing to mention is not to leave your handle down and then make your arrangement because you won't be able to put your handle up. So you need it to be up straight away. So we're going to start with a little bit of greenery and I've just got a range of simple flowers, everyday flowers, so that this doesn't need to be a complicated or expensive arrangement. It can be with materials that you can get easily. But obviously you can adapt it to suit what materials you have. So I'm just using a little bit of the leathery fern just to create a framework around the actual foam. So we've covered that round the edge and in the middle. And we were just splitting that fern down to get the maximum value out of it. And then I'm going to use little bits of different greenery because we can bring in a little bit of texture. So I've got a little bit of ivy. A little bit of eucalyptus, a little bit of the hard ruscus, and I'm just looking for different foliage to create different textures, and that will make the design much more interesting. Now, if you've got a nice garden, then you could actually use some nice garden foliage as well, so it doesn't look quite so commercial. Um, I'm just working the foliage in so that we're getting some little placements and some grouping with the heavier foliage towards the centre. So if you've got foliage with bigger leaves, putting it to the centre just means that the weighting looks right. Now the eucalyptus gives a really nice smell. So again, if this was a Mother's Day gift, they're really going to like it if you can put in something that's scented. So even if it's the foliage, that's really nice addition to the design. Now, we don't need any more foliage than that. That really is fine. And the first flower that I'm going to put in is this Solidago. Now, the Solidago is really good value because you can split it down. So we're going to break off different branches of that and just work that through. And we really just want our flowers to feel like they're radiating out from a central point. And that central point is inside the foam, if you can imagine that. So it's not from the surface. And sometimes you can have a design where that central point is even outside the container below the foam. But if, if all your flowers come from one place, then it looks natural. It looks balanced. So just adding the solid eagle through there brings the colour into the design. Now our main flower here today is going to be these lovely yellow roses. So a nice clean cut. And because these are quite big, we can keep them quite central. And really you want a nice cut on the stem and you want the stem to go definitely down into the foam. You don't want it um, just hovering at the top. And that will really help your arrangement to last. Now our secondary flower is going to be these carnations and I've picked two different types. We've got one that's a two-tone, which is really pretty, and then one that's just a single colour. So 
So if your carnations aren't showing much colour, you can just gently little squeeze and just tease them apart. I think for an arrangement for Mother's Day, we really want something that's going to last. So with that in mind, I've also got some limonium. So we're just going to add a little bit of this limonium into the design. Now there's different types of limonium. You might know this as status, but it is a very well lasting flower. And don't be scared to put a little bit to the back. It just takes the eye through the arrangement and makes it look more three-dimensional. Now, just to finish off, I'm going to use a few of these lovely Delian croissants. And again, this is great because we can split this down and get lots of different individual stems from it. Now, if you were making a few arrangements, then don't, don't feel that you have to put a whole stem into each arrangement. Just use what you need rather than using the whole stem because you have it. That might be too much. But obviously if you're making a few arrangements you might find that's quite economical because you might need two stems to make three arrangements. So we've created a simple design with the roses as being the main focal flower and there's just one thing that we need to do to finish it off and that's a little highlight with a bow. Now if you're not sure how to tie a bow then we have got a video showing you how to make a bow of this style so please have a little look and we'll just tie that on securely and then all you need to do is find a card and write your message. And there you go! A simple trunk basket design that your mum will love. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to keep up to date with all our designs.